So today is going to be another day at home. I went grocery shopping last night with Clay. So I wanted to do a little Trader Joe's haul because I feel like personally, sometimes Trader Joe's can be a little overwhelming because there's so many great things. And I feel like we've got it down to a good balance of food we'll actually eat and like not waste and also that's healthy. So we have our favorites and we kind of narrowed it down to a few that we really, really like that we change um, every couple weeks. So this week is a solid roundup. So I want to share with you guys the haul. I'm about to take stuff out of the fridge because like I said, we went last night, but I do like to like reorganize the fridge a little bit. So let's do it. I forgot I put the phone here. All right, so I emptied out the fridge and wiped it down a little bit. And then now I wanna show you guys what we got. So I split it up into kind of the more meats and um, grains and salads. And then over here is fruit and veggie and like healthy stuff. So I'll do a quick run through of the haul. I like to shop in categories. This is something that Clay and I do. Basically, each meal, we try to cook at home a lot just to be healthy and save money. And I've gotten so much better at cooking because of it, which has always have been something I wanted to get good at was cook. But I found like it took too much time, too much prep, didn't know what to make. And it's just, I felt like for one meal, I needed all these ingredients and it just, it was like complicated, but the way that we did it is basically breaking down our meals to a protein and like salad, veggies, fruit, and having that be like the out, like the framework for a meal and then times that by five uh, or whatever it is, the amount of days we wanna keep doing that to have like a solid good two meals. And so these are like our favorite ingredients that just make up a lot of different food that we can use all of pretty much. We, we don't really waste any food or barely any food. I don't say any, but I used to waste a lot of food on ingredients and stuff just because I felt like I'd buy it for two recipes, but I'd only make it twice and have like um, other ingredients. I don't, never have time to make because I just didn't know how to use it. So this kind of is a narrowed down more um, sustainable and less waste way to meal prep, honestly, for the week. So this is about four days of food, I would say. So these are the fruit and veggies that we get. These are vegetables for sides and for um, fruit for the morning and lunchtime is great and snacks. But good veggies are broccoli, asparagus, Brussels sprouts. And then you wanna make sure you have your onion and garlic, which pretty much goes in a lot of different dishes to add flavor. Some herbs that I find a lot of recipes are just extra good with is cilantro and parsley. Always make sure we have, like I said, fruit on hand. So we'll have about three to four fruit, blueberries, pineapple, and apples. And then some citrus, lemon, limes, bell peppers also really good along the same lines with garlic and onions, some ginger, really, really good for Asian dishes. You can use in stir fries just to add some flavor. And then I like to have a kombucha or a juice shot at least once a day. So these are really good ones. My favorite is the gingerade and then Clay's favorite is the pineapple. And then this is really good for immunity just as it is like cold season. Now we haven't gotten sick, knock on wood, because we've been pretty good about trying to take our juice shots and eat pretty healthy. So we like the turmeric and the ginger ones. Here are some of our favorite salads and proteins from Trader Joe's. I like to have these salads at lunch. I love this one. This is probably my favorite. I keep buying. It's so good. It's a fresh chopped salad with white chicken. This one comes with a really yummy dressing and then all the little 
um, ingredients I think are just so, so good together. Another good salad is the Greek salad. And then this is actually one I haven't tried yet. Clay has liked this in the past, so we got it this time. This is the Waldorf salad. And so we'll have like a salad for lunch and then proteins, really, really good salmon, specifically the barbecue one. Barbecue cut one is really, really good. So we'll have like that with Brussels sprouts. So we'll pop like the Brussels sprouts in the oven for like 15, 20 minutes. And then this cast iron skillet is what we would cook the salmon on. So you'd have a meal in about 20 minutes and like so easy um, and so yummy and very, very healthy. And like each one of these, so for the two of us, it'd be about $11 for the salmon. And then the Brussels sprouts are, um, I want to say like five to $7. So I mean, $20 for a dinner between the two of us, not bad at all. And then these are really good um, different Trader Joe's meats. We have had this, it's so good for fajitas. I haven't had this one, so I'm excited to try that. But this right here, same thing with the cast iron. All you do literally is just put it on the cast iron until it's cooked for about like 15 minutes or so. And it comes in this really yummy marinade. And then we'll just cut up some bell peppers, some onions, and um, some avocados, guacamole, cilantro, lime, and like tortillas. So we have these tortillas that we haven't tried yet, so I'm excited, but these are pretty healthy. And that's it. It will take about 15 to 25 minutes to make. And how much is this? $13. So $13 and then the bell peppers and all that, probably like $6 altogether. And this maybe like four or $5. So yeah, another meal for around $20 between the two of us. Really, really yummy too. And then of course, just some basic chicken, just cause it's so easy to make in like a stir fry or a salad or just about like anything really. So I would make that with broccoli and bell peppers with some soy sauce, some ginger and onions, and you have a really yummy chicken broccoli stir fry with like some brown rice or quinoa. So yeah, this is basically the overview of what we shop for. So I hope that was helpful and I think it's really healthy and budget friendly, which is, I, I think, amazing. For the longest time, whenever I went to Trader Joe's, I would only shop the frozen section and it's yummy, but it's definitely not the healthiest. And it's a lot of just like carbs um, and not like fresh vegetables and salads, fresh meat, stuff like that. And they have a lot of great, great selections when it comes to that stuff that aren't too expensive. So just a few aisles over, I would definitely recommend these specific picks um because we bought them like week after week and it's so good so good and i do think it's a huge part of why i feel like a lot better and um, a lot of you have mentioned also like the way i look is a little different how i like stay healthy is honestly mostly diet i don't work out intensively i don't work out like daily i try to work out three to four times a week for like an hour or so mainly i just eat really healthy because it makes me feel good and i love cooking healthy food and nourishing my body the way it should be nourished. And also Clay is really huge into this stuff. So he's been really helpful at figuring out like what the best ingredients are. And then I've been just exploring more into cooking and just making it taste good also and receiving money, which is never a bad thing. So yeah, I hope that you found that to be helpful. I'm gonna go ahead and make some lunch cause I'm really hungry right now, but I think I'm gonna eat lunch. And then I like to kind of uh, meal prep a bit by cutting up veggies and fruit just for the week that way throughout the day when I want to snack or when I want to make something all of the cutting is pretty much done and that just I'll sit down for like 30 minutes and do that with some music and make it like a relaxing thing and that just saves so much time in like dishes and all that when I have it set up and that way we end up using most of the ingredients because um, we know exactly like how much we have of what left and it's all ready to go and it just needs to be cooked. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that too after I eat. I just realized I have this box, at, box, <laughs> this box right here because I was using it as a tripod and Jasper's been lounging, so cute.
So for lunch, I'm having leftovers. We had sushi last night, so I'm gonna have some of the sushi. And then I have leftovers that I made, um, I think it was two days ago, so it's still good. It's like a chicken and broccoli and bell pepper. It's kind of what I mentioned to you guys before. It's Asian stir fry with quinoa. And then I saved an egg roll, which is still crispy, which is, I didn't expect that. So I'm excited to eat that. And then a side salad. Yeah, so this is the stir fry. It's really yummy. I can um, post the recipe on Instagram. I have like a recipes highlight if you're interested. I actually wanted some pineapple. It's surprisingly good together, so yeah. So I just chopped up a bunch of vegetables and some apples. This is what it looks like. Woohoo! So now I will be able to cook things without having to like take out garlic to chop up or ginger, onions, jalapenos. These are like really good breakfast staples if you want to make a scramble. Um, or like fajitas, a stir fry, like I said, or I had mentioned earlier. Broccoli and Brussels sprouts are really good with pretty much any protein, like steak or salmon. And apples are just good to have on hand. And having them chopped up like this, you don't have to buy like the bagged ones. You can just buy a bunch of apples and then slice them yourself. So yeah, and I saved a couple apples still over there so I didn't chop them all up, but just enough for the next like two or three days. And that's basically it. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Let me know in the comments if you liked it and if you wanna see like recipes, I have a highlight on my Instagram at VivianV if you wanna check that out for just more detailed like recipes I do using these ingredients. And yeah, um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more. I'm so excited to be vlogging again. It's honestly like come back really naturally. So it's kind of nice getting back into just like doing it more regularly cause it's fun. And I love that you guys have been commenting on my recent videos. It means a lot to me to know that you enjoy them. And I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. The law of attraction basically states that thoughts like atoms are drawn towards the same kind of thoughts. So basically whatever you focus your energy on will come back to you. What you are, you attract. Greatness attracts greatness. Like attracts like. So it's not just about thinking at a higher frequency. It's about living at a higher frequency. And when you do this, you are aligned with personal growth and focusing on the good within your thoughts, which are then also followed through with the actual physical necessary steps to bring them to life.